I've just completed installing Office and I have also updated my Office applications. So the next thing that I need to do is I actually need to activate it. And surprisingly this wasn't done during installation, it's done after installation. And my guess to the reason why Microsoft does that is they allow you 30 day free trial use of the application. And then after 30 days you'll start getting a little bit of a um, screen nag where it wants you to activate it or purchase it or whatever. So to activate it what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button. I'm, I'm, I actually right clicked on the start button and then I'm going to go to the control panel. And then up here in the upper right I'm going to change this to small icons and then I'm going to be looking for programs and features. So I'm going to click on programs and features and then I get a whole list of all the applications that are currently installed on my computer and I'm going to be looking for the Microsoft Office professional installation. Yours might be 365 or something along those lines. Wait for the bar up here to get done. There it goes. So now I'm going to click on my Microsoft Office Professional 365. I'm going to right click on this. So recall you can either single left click and use these buttons up here across the top or we can right click here and I'm going to choose change. And as soon as I do that I see this window here opens and the last option here is to enter a product key. While I'm here I'm also going to take note of a few other things where we can add or remove features, we can do a repair, or we can uninstall Office. So if your Office gets corrupted or acts a little weird for whatever reason, you can always do a repair install if needed. This is the place that you would do that. So I have Enter a Product Key selected, so I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. And then in here, this is where you would enter your product key and then click Continue and then Next Finish to finish out this part of pretty much just activating Office. It's pretty much a straightforward process after this. And that's all there is to activating your office.